Good evening, and welcome to Sir Broadcast. I'll be your host this evening, Ardell, and with us this evening, I have Monique Alexander, the creator of The Uncanny, and also the host. Good a- evening. I, just, <laughs> I, said, I think it was still afternoon. Good evening, sweetie. Thank you for coming. Nice to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, sweetie, I just want to um, the listeners to be able to uh, get to know you a little bit, you know, that they're going to see the stuff on your show and stuff, and why don't you tell the listeners what you want them to know? Okay, well, um, basically, um, I'm more of a quiet type person, and I do stay pretty much to myself, but I'm a workaholic also, so I do interact with a lot of people throughout the day. I don't mind doing that because, you know, that's my profession. And um, I'm an inquisitive type of person. I like to investigate things. I'm a certified private investigator. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, since 2000, I went to school for that. Right on. So um, I do that, you know, um, not really um, any type of feel or anything like that. I just have that under my belt. So when I'm ready to really get into it um, somewhat, what we're getting ready to get into with the uncanny, then it'll come in handy. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't have any children. I have uh, one dog. His name is Buddy. (laughs) He's my child. He's 15 years old. And um, I do like movies and I like anything in reference to the supernatural so that's why I'm into this field right now. Well that's wonderful then that just brings me right to my next question then why don't you tell the listeners a little bit about your show. Well The Uncanny is about um, all things that are supernatural anything that you can think of um, whether it's ghosts spirits aliens, UFOs, extraterrestrials um, abnormal uh, situations, unnatural situations, whether it's um, human, animal, or, you know, terrestrial, of whatever sort. It sounds really fun. With the, such a wide range, it would be really exciting to uh, see some of what you've got. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it should be interesting because there is something out there um, for everyone to really um, attach themselves with, you know. Life is supernatural. Absolutely. Excellent. So tell me, uh, why did you decide to go to Sir Broadcast with your show? Well, Sir Broadcast is an outlet to um, get this information out and receive information in reference to um, what I'm interested in, which is the uh, supernatural. And there is something out there that uh, someone wants to talk about. And there are people that want to listen, just like me. You know, I like talking about it, and I like listening about it. So That's a great way to connect to other people with the same kind of, you know, feelings towards the supernatural. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Cool. Well, with you being so interested in the supernatural, I imagine not a whole lot of things scare you. So why don't you tell me what scares you? What scares me is a spider. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I'm more afraid of spiders than anything else. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's wonderful. You know, would you mind just sharing maybe one of your uh, uh, situations, one of your stories um, with us? You know, I kind of, I'd just love to hear one. Just kind of a preview of your show, if you, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, I can tell you of a situation where... When I was staying with my mother before I moved out two years ago uh, to live where I am at now, I uh, was living in her basement apartment. And one night, I was lying in bed watching television, and Buddy, he was also in the room with me, and there's no one else downstairs but us, and all the lights was off, and it's just a one big bedroom, um, and then there's the living room, um, dining dining kitchen area that was um, down there and to my bedroom I had the door closed and while I was watching television there was this loud knock on the door about three times so I said yeah come on in (laughs) and buddy had got up and just stood at the door and he put his nose to the door he was just like 
waiting for that door to open up, but he didn't growl. He didn't make a sound. So I laid there for a few minutes and nothing happened. So I got on the cell phone. My mom and my grandmama was upstairs. It was it's a tri-level house and they were upstairs. And I called my mom and I asked, you know, I said, did you need anything? She said, what are you talking about? I said, you came downstairs and knocked on the door. She said, no, I didn't. I said, then where's grandma? She said, she's in her room. I said, well, someone knocked on the door real loud, and I asked it to come in, but nobody came in. She said, well, don't do that anymore. (laughs) 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 And, um, you know, nothing happened. I just opened the door, and it was just dead silence, pitch black in there. Yeah. Well, I know, you know, because I've had the opportunity to talk with you more extensively, so I know you have a lot more of those kind of stories. Uh, I'm curious, have you ever thought about, you know, because that kind of energy, you seem to draw that kind of energy to you, have you ever thought about being uh, a medium? No, not really. You're not interested at all what they want or, you know, why they seem to clamor to you? No, because I wouldn't want them to really go ahead and take over. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) No, I've seen too many movies for that, but, you know... (laughs) Sometime it probably will happen to someone that's into that um, type of feel, but not for me, you know. I just live with it, you know. Basically, that's all you can do is just live with it. Just live with it. Tell me something. What gets your goat? What just gets under your skin? Um, When someone says, oh, you're crazy. (laughs) You're just totally crazy. Really? You're smoking something. Something's wrong. No, there's nothing wrong. I know what I know, and I see what I see. Absolutely. And I hear what I hear, you know. Absolutely. And then they're, you know, they change their tune when I'm around and it happens while they're there. Yes, I've already had that come to mind with that, like I said, you seem to draw that kind of energy. (laughs) I've had that discussion already. (laughs) Yes, I'm just waiting um, that, that we had that uh, opportunity to have a, a talk uh, prior to tonight. Uh-huh. And uh, we were just was really intent. I know I was really intent on what you were having to say. And I don't I, I think our producer had dropped something or had oh, that that remember we both were uh-huh. squealing. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that first time when I told you that story. Oh, uh, yeah. First story. Well, Monique, thank you so much for joining me this evening. I have really had a good time, and I am so looking forward to what you have to share with everyone. And I hope everyone else enjoyed the show this evening, because I certainly did. Yeah, I hope so, too. I hope to hear from a lot of people. Yeah, me, too. All right. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week. Well, thank you.